Is this okay? Alright. What's up you guys? It's me, the Mysa45 here. And in this video, I have a real big trick for you guys. Um, so, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to get the, the, the dynamic wallpapers that are all available on iOS 7, which are not available on iOS 4. As for us, you know, the iPhone users, you guys may know the dynamic dynamic wallpapers are not available for the iPhone 4 because Apple did want it for us I guess probably because of the built-in hardware built inside the phone but um, yeah that's it and I'm gonna be showing you how to get those wallpapers on your iOS phone I'm the most 45 let's get this started Now, in order for you to do this on your iPhone 4, you need to be jailbroken. Um, as of the date this video has been posted, um, I don't have, seem to have a uh, guide for you guys that I can give to you to jailbreak your iOS device. But um, in the near future, which may be here, if you're you know watching this in the future, um, I will have a jailbreak guide for each iOS device and hopefully I will be able to help you guys jailbreak your iOS device so as of right now you're just gonna have to google search uh, your iOS device on how to jailbreak it um, just make sure you know what iOS version you're running if you want to find out you need to go to general then to about and find out what version it is and then um once that's done and you have Cydia installed, you can come back here and continue with the procedure. So the first thing you guys need to do is go into Cydia and wait for it to load up. On your iPhone 4. Okay, that I, I should have not said that just now. I should have said that before. <laughs> But yeah, just, you know, wait for it to load up. Then, once you're there, tap Sources. Tap Edit. Tap Add at the top left. Then type in Cydia. Dot. My. Repo space dot com slash boom smart then you can go ahead and add the source I already have it added here so I'm not gonna add this but once you tap add source let it do its thing then you will see something at the bottom that says return to Cydia so you can go ahead and tap that then once you're done you can go ahead and look for the source itself which I left for you in the which I left a link to in the description below. Just tap Boom Smart, then tap where it says Live Wallpaper Enabler. Then at the top right, you will see something that says Install. Just tap Install, then tap Confirm, let it do its thing. Then once it's done, you should see something that says Restart Springboard. Just tap it and wait for it to finish. Then once it's done and you're back up on your at your lock screen, you can go ahead and go into settings. Then go to wall, oh sorry, wallpapers and brightness. Then tap where it says choose wallpaper. Then you should see the dynamic wallpaper section on your iOS device. Then you will see all these dynamic wallpapers. You can go ahead and click one, then tap set, and set it to wherever you want. I'm just setting mine to both. Then you can close this, and boom, you have your iOS 7 dynamic wallpaper on your iPhone 4 now. Now, the only um, bug I've encountered so far is that when I open the app switcher or the multitasking thing in iOS 7, you, sh you will see this on your home screen. You know in this section at least that 
your wallpaper is sort of minimized here. Um, as of the date this video is posted, that's the only bug I've seen, but hopefully um, they'll release a uh, update to it. In case they do, you should, in case they do, and you want to update to it, you can go back to Cydia. Then, wait for it to load. Then tap changes, and hopefully that update will be there. But as of the video, as of the date this video was posted, there is no update yet. But yeah, and also you guys will not get the parallax effect that you see on other iOS devices like the iPhone 5 or the iPhone 4s or the uh, or the iPhone 5s or 5c or whatever. You won't see that here on your iPhone 4 because your iPhone 4 is not compatible with that kind of effect yet because Apple didn't build it, built it for your phone. But uh, either way, you know, you guys still get the dynamic wallpapers here. It still works well. It's still pretty good. Everything still works fine. And uh, yeah, that's it, guys. That's how to get the dynamic wallpaper of iOS 7 on your unsupported iPhone 4. So thank you guys for watching. Um, if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. That would totally help me out a lot. And if you want, you can also favorite this video if you enjoyed it. And if you want to see more videos like this, or if you want to see more of my videos in the future, feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel where I post awesome Android and iOS content. And uh, thank you guys again for watching. I hope you guys will like me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter, follow me on Instagram. I left all those links in the description below. Once again, thank you for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. To my C45, out.